Hello, and welcome to Expedition History. I'm Avery, and today we will be talking about some significant coins in history. Well, somewhat significant. There's also a few um, different types of minted bills. We will be looking through a bin full of coins and a few mint packs. Or, yeah. Okay, so first, this isn't really a mint pack, but it's my quarter collection. 100% complete state quarters. It is from 1999 all the way to 2008. Okay, so next up on our list, I have a thing full of buffalo nickels. So I have you bought I have about 23 buffalo nickels in here. Buffalo nickels were minted between 1913 to 1938. And I have about another 40 of them in here. They have the Indian on one side and they have a buffalo on the other. I think that was pretty cool. You can buy a package of these for about $30 on eBay. This is a 1997 Chuck Yeager stamp. It's about his super sonic flight, the first ever flight where they broke the sound barrier. It's a 50th anniversary because they broke it in 1947. Okay, so this dime here this dime is an error dime from 1977. It's a little bit off-sided. This is pretty cool. Okay, so I've got a old Indian head penny from 1882. We got this at an antique store. It's pretty cool. Okay, so save these for later. Okay, so this is somewhat special to me because if you've ever been to the state capitol in Minnesota on a tour, if you've ever been there before, you can buy these coins in the gift shop for about $10 a piece. So I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so I have, let's see, I have three Jefferson nickels to show you. 1962. A 1939 and a 1940. These are, are both one and two years after Buffalo Nichols and Jefferson Nichols were made in 1938. So, next up on our list, little list here, we've got a little coin I picked up geocaching. Put, I forgot what I put in there, but I got this little cool coin from geocaching so I've got a bunch of binnacles or liberty heads um, uh, here I've got five of them this one is from 1901 this one is from 1900 and then these other two are from 1911 and then I have a uh, 1887 Liberty Head or V Nickel. So let's take a look at what is inside of here. This is a United States Mint 1996 uncirculated coin set. It's missing one coin because someone decided to cut it out, but it, it was a little bit complete and for $2 I picked this up at an antique store. So you have here a uh, Philadelphia mint set you've all the basic coins that were made plus a little Philadelphia minted coin here and then same thing for the Denver mint except it's missing the half dollar I thought it was pretty cool you know um 
So, next up, we have a few bills to take a look at. These were pretty cool. I got this 1935 $1 bill. I picked it up at a flea market. And I thought this was pretty cool. I think I paid around $1, $2 for it. It's got the blue seal on it, as you can see here. Uh, George Washington on it. It's, it's really not that rare. This one here was given to me by my parents. This is a 1928 $2 bill. It is not too rare. Probably worth around 20 bucks if it was near mint state in the 60s, probably. It's got the red seal. And then the rest of these, I have a few other $2 bills. I've got, um, let's see, I've got 1976 $2 bill, 1995, another 1995. I've got uh, 2003 and uh, 2009 $2 bills. These are fairly common. And uh, yeah, so they're fairly common. They're not worth too much other than $2. Other than if you have a 1928 or 1935 $1 or $2 bills. So you may be wondering, well, what's inside of this? Inside of here, I will show you. Kind of hard to open. Okay, here we go. We got many different types of dollar coins. Some are different than others. I've got a lot of the president ones, like this one here. This one is um, who is this? Uh, this is at Andrew Jackson. It's kind of cool. Uh, so these nickels, I've got quite a few of them. This is also called a buffalo nickel. It's minted in 2005, like a lot of them. Um, this one's a 2004, but this one's got the ship. Uh, this one has got the hands shaking. And then I believe that there's one more in here. Uh, oh, I know that there's one more out there. Oh, yeah, it's a... Uh, picture of kind of like a ocean area right here the ocean senior scenery with trees I've got about 10 of these $1 coins I've got about 15 Kennedy cent or 50 cent pieces and I've got about um I've got a lot of these wheat pennies if you've looked at my previous videos, I ha I even have a steel scent, which is actually kind of rare. Somewhat, not really, but it's kind of. So, next up, we have a couple of pennies in here. Oops, different types of pennies, kind of like the nickels. Let's see if I can find any more. Uh, I know there's quite a few. That's the same kind. Okay, so first up, we've got this one, and we've got this one, and I believe that there's around four to five different types. Um, this one, and then I believe there's one more in here. Aha, here it is. This one here. And also for the last type of coin, I've got about four of these Minnesota State Quarters because that's the state I live in. It's kind of a cool coin. It's got some significance to me. I I just love Minnesota Quarters. They're so cool. And uh, if you enjoyed, uh, please uh, consider subscribing and uh, um, pressing that notification bell so you never miss an upcoming video. Bye!